So here is how to add books from Safari onto Speechify. Um, I can start by going to import from web and this will walk me through how to do it. The first thing you do is click more, enable Speechify, and now I'll have the ability to add books from online onto Speechify. So this is an example. This is the Wikipedia uh, article for elephants. Import, tap Speechify. And it might elephant. take a minute to start. Elephants are large mammals of the family Elephantidae and the order Propicin. So that was adding uh, just an easy article onto Speechify. If I want to add it directly from Safari, let's say, let's say I want to look at a Medium article about bicycles. Medium, or let's say an article on Medium about books. This is an article that I wrote actually. Um, talks about good books that I've read. All right, all I need to do is hit the share button. Hit Speechify, which we enabled earlier. It's going to take it a minute to create the book. Saved. Read now. Several people asked me for my favorite books recently, so I thought I'd make this post public. So there we have it, and it even keeps the same photo for you. Now you can do the same thing for multiple different websites. Sometimes it is tricky, and it won't actually work as planned. Um, for example, the New York Times has a payment wall, so it doesn't always work. So if we go to New York Times, let's say, um, New York Times. The New York Times has a payment wall, so it doesn't always work for it, for example. So I just grabbed this random article here about the new year. Um, and let's see what happens if I try to import that to Speechify about Iran and North Korea. One. The new year is absolutely frigid across much of North America. A jet stream is shuttling Arctic air from northwestern Canada to the east of you. S. Sending temperatures plummeting to record lows and creating dangerous conditions. Above Niagara Falls. Forecasters say it will continue at least into the weekend. So in this case, so it did actually work out pretty well for me. But let's say it didn't work out for me. What I could do is I would say, okay, I want to read this article, but it didn't properly highlight. All I would do is I would um, long click one of the, the first word, and then I drag this thing down. And I just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the article, and I'd say, great, I want all the stuff, copy. I can go back to the Speechify now, and I would click plus, uh, copy text. And now, boom, I created another article that has the same text inside of it. Might take him a second to load. Iran, North Korea, Orin Hatch, your Tuesday evening briefing. By Karen Zurich and David Skull, January 2nd, 2018. Want to get this briefing by email? Here's the sign up. Good evening. Here's the latest. Image credit Aaron Linnet slash the Canadian press via Associated Press 1. The new year is absolutely frigid across much of North America. So if I wanted to... If I wanted to, I can go back to this normal article and then play Speechify and... Iran, North Korea, Orin Hatch, your Tuesday evening. Listen to the article or I can go back to the Speechify itself and look at the words Briefing. being highlighted by as Karen they're read Zurich out to me. David Skull, January 2nd, 2018. Want to get this briefing by email? Here's the sign up. Subscribe to the Times. Iran, North Korea, Orin Hatch. Or I can go back to the app and look at the words as they're Tuesday being read. Briefing. By Karen Zurich and David Skull, January 2nd, 2018. And I can make it Watch as fast or as slow as I want the sign up. as I listen. The other interesting thing to know about is that in Safari, I can actually click Reader View and it'll make it easier for me to highlight it without any additional unwanted information. So I just highlight that one word, pull it down, go all the way down. I'm gonna say copy, I'm gonna put it back in here, and then I'm really secure to make sure that it doesn't have anything in that copy text that I don't want. It's only the article itself, with nothing else. Iran, North Korea, 